I know what everybody's thinking. Get me out of the drugstore. I'm thinking the same exact thing. Alright, so we got the keys. We're gonna go into the room to get the drugs for Lily's father. This is what the last two hours have been about. It's her asshole dad. Anything I can look at? Oh no. Oh Gotta no. Hurry. That noise is gonna bring zombies from everywhere. But don't worry, we have a year before she gets there. Oh, crap, there's more. A lot more. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! Out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. I need to go over there and help. Come on, get out of the way. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. What is he talking about? We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know, uh, I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Oh, I... Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Alright. Come in, Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in, Did you find anything? Nothing! Oh, Getting in. Oh, wait! That window is screwed! Go! Come on, hold the door. Hold it. Okay, I got the door. Door is secure. Beautiful! Put that in there. I don't think I don't Oh no! Doug! Oh no way. They're gonna make me choose! Shoot him! Why can't she shoot him? She has bullets! Why can't she shoot him? Okay, uh, quick thinking. Um, she has a gun. That's valuable. He. Uh, fixes things. He's like a, a, a technician or an engineer. I gotta choose him. I gotta choose him. He can help out. Doug can help out. Maybe she can shoot. She was. Holy! Let's go! They got Carly. No way! I'm not letting Clem die, no matter what. Run? Okay. They're not covered with this, you son of a what bitch! The? No! Oh! I need... I need... assistance. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. That was cool. Especially a good friend. Alright, Kenny. Get the hell out of here. Okay, it looks like we're at the hotel where I let that girl murder herself. So we got the pills for the old guy, he's fine. The radio is basically saying everything's going to hell everywhere. And we just. And he knows his whole family is dead. Oh.
This would just be the craziest situation ever. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I gotta let him go look for his people. Lily wants him to stay, it looks like. We, but we gotta let him go, man. We can't keep him here. I don't even think he would. I, if I said, you know, don't go, he'd probably say, you know, I don't care what you say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be friends. nice. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. All right, so we're down a member. One less person to feed and worry about. But one less person to kind of like help us out and save us. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. So the guy who has the most annoying son in the world says I'm being a good dad. Alright, cool. Let's go see what Doug's probably mad about the girl dying. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Man, I'm... I cannot... contradict myself. I'm, I'm, I cannot doubt myself. I think I made the right decision with Doug. He can fix everything. She could just shoot. That's not important. I can shoot. Oh, like pow pow pow. I thought that super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so 
Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. And that's the way it ends? Wow. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening! No more, please! No more, please!